with us. But to start off this session, we have Dr. Nico de Clare. Dr. Nico de Clark, I met uh, with you when I was at South Africa Day last year. Dr. de Clark walked from Pretoria to Cape Town. He left Pretoria on Mandela Day and he walked through to Cape Town. I think it was 2,750 kilometers. And um, he ended on South Africa Day. And on his way, he stopped at the you know, 100 communities with a yeah, you know, that's 100 communities offering workshops on uh, entrepreneurship to uh, those communities. Now, Dick, Dr. Nico de Clark is here, but he's not here anymore. He's not within a black group of the same name, by coincidence, as well as a group of youngsters from our body who will be doing a little enactment for us. But I think I'm going to leave it to Dr. de Clark to come forward and to Okay, so can I start? Is this on? This on? Is it on now? Yes. Okay, let's hear because uh, this is important, the, the sound system. Uh, can we just go to that, the logo? Uh, I know myself by now being very much in aesthetic by nature, I love to do things in an unorthodox way and start in a different way, even than I've planned. So, you know, listening to this uh, introduction and seeing Baron de Lagrange here from South Africa Day, I remember that conversation in four ways. Uh, Nico, we would like you to stop on South Africa Day, 24th of November. Now, when you start 18th of July, it means like there's like more than a month that I can play with. Meaning that he was actually asking me to walk another about 800 kilometers. And I was like, yes, I, that's nice. So, yeah, let's do it that way, you know. And just like that, he took me into 800 kilometers further. I mean, if that is not applicable for an event like this, you know, uh, World Speech Day, I mean, he convinced me in no time. I always wanted a logo that I can talk about for three hours, non-stop. And after 18 months of design, one design after the other, I got to this one. Now just look at it, just quick comments on this. The colors there, green for growth, blue for vision, red for passion, conflict, Valentine's Day and so on. And uh, orange for um, uh, energy. Uh, look at the white spaces there. And this is all about entrepreneurship. The white spaces, ask any entrepreneur, and white spaces will always appear, like things you haven't thought about. But you didn't know that before. So the white spaces will appear. Look at the sharp edges. You can get hurt when it gets to entrepreneurship. And look at the, um, look at the small lines at the bottom of small triangles still in process to appear. And this is what entrepreneurship, you can never prepare yourself for this kind of journey as an entrepreneur. You always have to have to, uh, the mindset of discovery, of uh, to overcome, and then uh, to be, be victorious. And I thought I would like to do something that hopefully will catch the mindset, the imagination of people. And after completing the studies on Camino, and uh, went to Spain doing that, came back and I thought about this walk through South Africa. Not a walk in the Himalayas or uh, Kilimanjaro or what, a walk through the townships of South Africa where it can actually be, where people can associate. So, as part of my introduction, I would like to give a message. Guys, I'm convinced that the rest of my life should be about changing the mindsets in townships and people involved to help and assist and build bridges. 
It, it means like it's about change the way that we think about ourselves and our life. And we don't do that just from ourselves. Therefore, I need to communicate in all sorts of ways, catching the imagination. And therefore, when these guys contacted me and we've met and we've discussed, I immediately saw the ways. I would like to uh, ask you guys to come forward. The guys from Streetbiz, um, Kwaitu Music, and the latest version in Kwaitu, obviously, is New Age. And they are, according to me, they're the number one, but they... Uh, we're working on their ranking, I think currently in some nine, but we've got Slash and Twist here, and uh, so we've become big mates. Now they want to write me into their songs, you know, and I'm not sure where I'm going to fit. I'll save the see. Guys from Streepers, my partners in Prime now these days, so uh, I'm glad to have you here. Are you good to go? One, two, show, hey, hey, show. Oh, try go, show. I bet the bitches are good on. Hey, open your wings and explore. Wake up, the leaves alive, the platforms. Let bygones be bygones. Show, I bet the bitches are good on. Hey, open your wings and explore. Wake up, the leaves alive, the platforms. Show, you day fools that the fish is getting jumped. All day, yeah, we're on the mission. Sure. Use the time because it's God given. Take the opportunity. Make a bit of future. Don't put your energy on for the business. Sure. I use the energy, make money business. Entrepreneurship is never easy. But if it's your you become the biggest. Hold on for now. Like, I mean, just hold on. Don't look for the arms on your future. Be hands on. I'm saying, all in all, just keep on. Doing a big and embrace where you come from. Hold on for now. You need to hold on. Don't look for the arms on your future. Be hands on. I'm saying, all in all, just keep on doing a thing in your place where you come from. Goals with my goals. And then the bridges and move on. Okay, guys, let's explore. Wake up and utilize the platform. Let my goals be my goals. Open the bridges and move on. Open your wings and explore. Wake up and utilize the platform. Start to the finish it. Shine in your corner, never give up, just keep up till you conquer. Bigger to every house and every corner, yes, it's bigger to every house and every corner. Wise up, shine in your corner, never give up, just keep up till you conquer. Bigger to every house and every corner, yes, it's bigger to every house and every corner. One, then by gods, be by gods. Two, open the bridges and move on. Three, open your wings and explore. Wake up and utilize the Thank you so much. And the flexibility, that's what I'm looking at. I mean, obviously the talent, but the flexibility, you know, this is not the best sound system, this is not the best, but to make it work. And that, oh, here's the presentation, I don't think you can get it on there. Uh, the slogan of streamers developed organically out of the walk. Uh, when I departed here, it was like changing minds and changing lives, etc. But it changed to just make it work. And that became like the, uh, the whole team used that. If you see it as small in part of agency, use that. Just make it work. We have to make like every day plans to overcome and to adjust. This is what I just saw here. Thank you so much for that. Um, yeah, it seems like we've got like anything from those any other technical problems we've got here. Uh, you see, this happened the other day as well. Technical things always interfere. So let me carry on. Are you with me? 
that I'm convinced that we have to change our culture about entrepreneurship development in South Africa. This is what it's all about. So I've now got to convince people that we've got to do things differently. Corporates, government, government agencies, in townships, churches, communities. Can you hear that, I'm have, to, that I have to walk uh, and, and work all over? So therefore, I've uh, then started on... Uh, thank you so much. Uh, I've started on Mandela Day and I've ended on South Africa Day. These are the words I uh, wanted to have it on while they were singing it. I gave them some leads and it is to produce and write a song that link up with the Street Press Foundation's message about mindsets. Let bygones be bygones. Why is that the title? I hope you will get goosebumps with me when I say I'm now getting to the punchline of this. Because the youth, grade 10, 11, in this country, grade 10, 11, right down to Cape Town, asked me to bring back this message to the world. And they said, Sir, we want to be excited about our future. We want to walk our uh, work towards that. But you know what? We want to ask your generation, and I will never forget that day. We want to ask your generation to let go of their conflicts and grudges. We are sick and tired of looking at your generation and how you can get involved with each other and about the past. We will, I want you to leave that. And with the media present, I really ask them to take that message. They also ask, use that energy to build bridges for us. So now you know what I'm doing? Morning, day, afternoon, night. This will be my calling, whatever you call it, for the rest of my life. There's the song. Um, if you want it, you can always ask for the words. I just want to say, all right, where do we have to change our mindsets then to? Where do we have to go with that? Uh, a global citizen, a new way of thinking. We also use the word active citizenship here. And uh, Vino, by the way, what a fantastic lady putting all of this together. But so much respect. But what are we talking about? Developing those things, your own voice. What are we doing here? Self-esteem, balanced perspective, exposure. We need exposure to grow. Uh, mindset, openness, embrace unknown, you know. And this is what I wanted to demonstrate with the wall. So the wall was a simple language, a symbolic language. Do you follow me? Uh, to open up communication, to give meaning to what I'm doing. I didn't start on Mandela Day just before, because it was like a public holiday, you know, whatever. I wanted to communicate with symbols. I wanted to communicate with language that actually opens up meaning to everybody. Um, visiting a hundred communities, which then in commemoration, in commemoration of uh, Nelson Mandela's 100th birthday, etc. So you communicate with symbols, therefore people open up. Uh, to embrace our uh, flexibility, integrate new knowledge. So all of that linked up with uh, World Speech Day. All right, our light, the rest of it is, uh, again, it's too bright, so you can't actually see here, yeah, early morning walk in Soweto, uh, starting on Mandela Day there. But there's a couple of pictures, I don't know, I'm not sure if it's going to work, let's see. But this is what it's about, communicating with symbols, opening up meaning. If you play a song for your loved one on the radio, there's a whole world going open for her, isn't it? And the two of you think of this specific moment or that weekend or whatever. For other people, it's just a song. So a symbol is opening up communication and therefore the symbols, everything that I planned was in terms of that. Doing exercises with them, uh, with all the groups, schools, communities, the unemployed, 
brain integration, uh, vision development, leaving them with something that's, uh, that they can practice every day. You communicate on a continuous basis and those uh, exercises is, has an effect on the brain. We've got enough research on that. Just do it. You don't have to understand all the scientific stuff. Just do it. And I'm still getting messages, not even from the walk, even two, three years ago from KwaZulu Natal. People are still communicating. Just do the simple exercises and it's got an effect on the brain. It's like going to the gym. I mean, obviously you get fit, you'll stay fit. So it's the same part of the brain. Uh, good. I would like to give you a glimpse of what it's what it's about. So I'm quickly going to go through this. The unemployed, you know, we just need spontaneously churches. This was just after church. There, it's the white of the river. They walked like after church for two kilometers with me. The whole congregation. This is Orange Farm community. This is schools. Um, I know it's not that bright. This is a youth group. This is in prison. Uh, maximum security youth prison. We've got seven of them. They've opened up during the walk. As I passed one and they asked me, can you come and do the inmates? And I said, with pleasure. I couldn't get away there, understanding. Just before the presentation, you can see the overalls in prison that provided me with this photo with permission to use. Uh, fantastic guys that I've met there. And I haven't expected that. It was a surprise. So out of the blue. And the next moment I was there, in prison, like maximum security, I promise you. Uh, very good sign. Then late night, this was in deep sweat. Late night in the evening, I'm tired, I am really tired, you know, walking, doing workshops, and then knock, 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 echo, yes, all right. No, we've got beer, we now want to have a chat about entrepreneurship development. Come in, guys, you know, you've got to socialize. So, can you see that I had to prepare my own mindset for going into this space for four months? You're not going to get out of this capsule. You know that thing that they landed on the moon? Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin. I, I, I actually, I was in it. I got into it. And that moment, and looking at this space, and, you know, living with other two other guys here for how long? That was one of the things, how I prepared my mindset to get into this space, to be available today all the time. And learn is walking with me. There's something that we don't understand. When people walk with you, there's something happening that we don't discuss, we don't talk about it, but it's on a sub unconscious level where people bond when they walk with you. There's something happening. Therefore, people could associate, especially the African cultures, they could, as could associate with me on levels that I don't even understand. So, uh, here guys are playing uh, games that were sponsored from Switzerland for me. They play games online, submit, they get a profile about their entrepreneurship skills. That's one of the ways in which I bring in technology. So, uh, invited to boardrooms, yeah, unexpected meetings, uh, and the next moment I was here joining a band that was at Cape Flats, and we had one hell of a good time making music there. Um, so we did a song together. All of that is available on the YouTube channel of Streamers, where you can listen and so on. We're going to do some more. Like, I'll probably end up doing being a rapper, you know. Uh, Anyway, a couple of ideas and thoughts that I would like to share with you about this walk. You connect with people, you talk to people, and you listen a lot, and that is research. With the social scientific methodology of ethnography. So there's a research methodology. So what did I do to make this happen? Because there's no time to go sit and type and you all know your sorts of ideas. While walking, four or five o'clock in the mornings, I recorded on my phone and I shared it with volunteers. I've got a volunteer team, research team, 
and they've transcribed it, put it in folders, and the day I got back, I got it. And the head of that team, Johan Kronier, is sitting right over here in the middle. I want to thank him and his team for the transcription of all the research. Okay. Oh, uh, by the way, the designer of the logo sits over there, Sonika, uh, interior architect, and she designed the logo. By coincidence, my daughter. Okay, research, very important for Street Best Foundation. One of the mistakes that we're doing in South Africa, I'm going to be blunt. We are, um, how can I say, manipulated by money, the whole world. But there's not an, enough research of what is necessary and how it's going to work. Money has got too much of a say. That's going to be my voice. Uh, I've spoken to these people, and I want to share with you just two stories. Very done. Now imagine the, the following. Oh, there's a photo about it. They're on the left. The group come to join me. They're all between 14 and 17. Listen now carefully. This is the walk. 15 kilometers from uh, Marydale. This was my 2,000 kilometer mark. So they were brought to celebrate with me, coffee and cookies and stuff. And now we're walking. And they're all quiet. Three kilometers, four kilometers, they're all quiet. I'm talking to make them at ease. Why? Between 14 and 17, expelled from school, chased away from their homes, too young to work. Where do you go? How do you live? So they come together. They live together. I will went to visit, visit them at their we're still in close contact. I got two emails this week from them. But, but what, what do you do? <sighs> it's about seven kilometers or so they opened up because of the walking. You bond me. They're starting to trust you. You're all uh, aligned, looking forward. Can you follow me? Your vision is in front of you. You're not staring at each other, confronting each other. You're walking. So just imagine the non-verbal language, my symbolic language that I'm communicating. Bonnie, they're opening up. So we've basically got four options for our future. Yeah. Uh, option one is this gang. Option two is that gang. Option three is this gang. Option four is that gang. Right? What are we going to do? They literally got no, they can't work, chased away, expelled, already troublemakers, already labeled. What are going to happen with them? Well, you can follow on the street this, whatever, social media. I'm not going to leave them alone. There must be a way. I couldn't find a sponsor because I wanted them to walk with me the last day. Funding is the thing that I will have to work on and I need to expand my team in terms of funding. Because people don't get it in South Africa. They want to work locally where they can get the most out of it for their company or organization. We have to change our mindsets far beyond the uh, parameters of just unemployed. Okay, so they were walking with me. That is the Paridale story. To be continued, because you can't walk in there. Now you walk out, everything is solved. Unfortunately, you'll have to persevere, you'll have to be there. But what I can say is, they are willing. This is good guys. This is the guys that I will visit, visit in prison if we don't do in time if we don't do anything different from what we're doing because they have, don't have any other options the story about the Cape Flats unfortunately the photo of ex-gang leader Mario is not clear enough there but with his permission and guess what the person that took that photo flew down to uh, Cape Town to join me for a couple of kilometers she sits over there uh, Minky. She took that photo and she'll tell you what it was for her like to meet an ex-gangster from Cape Flats 
And he was like part of all the major gangs on Cape Flats with all the tattoos showing and explaining it to us because he changed his life. And this was a divine intervention because this guy opened up the flats. If I've walked into that, the Cape Flats without his assistance, without bonding with him, I would have been in serious trouble and I knew it. And Minky uh, saw me that day that I was really, 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 very upset there. But this guy opened it up for me. Guys, um, if I talk about streetness, I can say a lot of things. And I really don't want to go over my time. I, I would like to share with you, just in short, this is the, the what I did. And I've shared with you a bit about why I'm doing it. And I can show, and I've got it all here, there's a lot of statistics indicating that we are not aware, that we're not performing in terms of entrepreneurship. I'm going to quickly go to the slide just to uh, get that for you. Um, and there it is. We're not performing, and what I'm saying is from World Economical Forum Index, and you will see I don't even have to look there. South Africa is at 0 0.5, Nigeria at 6.3. That is a massive difference in terms of entrepreneurship performance. And what I'm asking my friends now for more than two years, but what is this doing to you? What is this changing? What, what change is this bringing to your life? The, uh, this is the World Economical Forum uh, Index. All of other African countries are above us at, uh, what's it, 5.1 and 3.2. Guys, as South Africans, if I say we have to reboot our entrepreneurial culture, I mean it. But you know what? Then we'll have to work on our consciousness because we love to feel good about ourselves. We love to ignore just like in the old apartheid days, we love to ignore realities. We don't want to go there. So we feel good. So what do we do? You can look around and you will see. We love telling success stories. Ah, oh, she presented the workshop there and everybody's now got their own business. And this one, uh, Twist, uh, now has got his own business. He's such a user. And when I go and visit him, he's in trouble. When I follow up, and I promise you I'm going to do some research on these success stories, we create a lie. And when you go sit and talk to those guys at ground, at grassroots level, then you hear the truth and nothing else but the truth. But this is confirmed by the independent studies from World Economic Forum uh, Index. And I know these guys... I went with them to the Global Entrepreneurship World Championship. I went with them to America for training. That's where we got our certificates, master's certificates for entrepreneurship. I know them well. They want me to be involved with an African organization. We're in close contact. I know them. They, these are nice guys. We can learn a lot from them. They are at 6.3. Uh, what is it? September 2017, the World Economic Forum. We uh, declare this. We overtook Mexico, oh, sorry, Brazil, to become the, the country with the biggest gap between rich and poor. Now, do go spell that out for any academic in the social world. By the way, political science would have been, yeah, uh, probably late, but I will check the video uh, from the university. Coming up with some bright ideas there. Anyway, um, the biggest gap between rich and poor. You say that to any academic or researcher, and they will say this means one thing, revolution. This is not good news. If the poor is becoming more, and the rich becoming less, and the richer becoming richer, and the poor becoming poor. Right, so we've got to change strategy, and I love it. It's a wonderful, wonderful country of goodwill, of kindness that I've experienced. I must be honest that people really didn't expect me for, to arrive alive in uh, Cape Town. And I, I didn't only arrive alive. 
I arrived there enriched. Enriched. With the guy that sacrificed his bed for me on the last evening in Cape Flats. His name is Gabba. Sending me a message two weeks ago to remind me of something that I've mentioned to him. The kind of interest, the kind of humanity. It is amazing if you're willing to break through the boundaries of own existence and perceptions. I trust, I really trust that um, yeah, that God will bless this uh, movement or research outcome and you know, getting together with people like Streetbus and there's another way in which I would like to communicate and that is um, freedom through expression now if those guys if you guys come forward to come soon, you want to come? and success, they're from Mamanuri and they, three years ago, they were my first workshop in terms of mindset of the entrepreneur. And this is where our uh, freedom through expression was born. And, um, yeah, so, can I give you guys a chance to, are you ready? Okay. No problem, that's all I want to hear. Good. So, I was thinking about making a difference, so I just put my voice down. I heard this words, I make a difference. There's no way to success, you have to create your own. Plan the way, you don't have the plan. Be patient as you build a solid foundation. For yourself, for the nation, get more education and have a clear vision. Be an entrepreneur, you have more than one income. Use money to make more money and the process. Take responsibility. Always remember time is now. You think you can do it. Be honest. Start where you are. Use what you have. Reach out and ask for help. Give access and change mindsets. And remember, a business that makes nothing but money is a poor kind of business. So, when I was writing this, I was just thinking about statistics, you know, and uh, the world is me today. Uh, we have so many businesses that make makes money, but they make no difference. So we need businesses, more businesses that will make a difference. So thank you for your time. When I face the entrepreneurship community in South Africa, I had to do a presentation in Victoria, Sand and the Maslow Hotel. Very nice. And in Cape Town, and they went with me, and they did the act there, as well as on the day of departure at uh, Seda. So, I don't know, I'm discovering a wonderful South Africa, because they were examples of what actually happened all the way down uh, to, to Cape Town. Um, so, again, I want to thank the CEO of South Africa Day for convincing me to even walk 800 kilometers further. <laughs> Warren. Guys, um, I'm only working with volunteers up to now, a whole team of volunteers, and a couple of them here today as well. But uh, in time, I trust we will go to the next level and be able to be more productive and more uh, effective. And if I can just mention another name, but strategic partnering is very important, you know. So let me just go to that side and then I will finish with that. Strategic partnering, then we will see what we today obviously makes sense. Getting youngsters and all over South Africa, next year it must be at all schools in all countries, uh, in the, all of the country. But Professionality Institute adding a lot in terms of what I'm dreaming about with this online business school 
and moving forward in terms of business skills. So Gerrit Boeta sitting over back there, uh, at the back there, from the Professionality Institute, I would also like to say, you know, uh, strategic partnering, very important. It's, this is not about one person, this is about what's best for South Africa. Innovation Center, Professor Shwala, Evan Shwala down at uh, University of Stellenbosch Business School, opening up doors for me. And then I would like to use this event at, uh, we know, at uh, World Speed Day to announce a breakthrough in the last two weeks, where Streetless Foundation is now officially licensed by Masterpiece, that is from a European uh, 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 initiative, to do Nelson clubs in all communities in South Africa. In short, this global movement, with more than 100 countries already also participating, just like you, Vino. Uh, what are they? What's their aim? To identify the Nelson Mandela's in all communities all over the world. Isn't that fantastic? And when I read this and I saw it, but they're actually using our legacy. And they've built a worldwide thing. You must Google Masterpiece. And I had a couple of sessions with the CEO Art Boss in the Netherlands, and the other director is in Egypt. And they, yeah, so officially, just like World Speed Day, Treepers will have to run for um, uh, the Nelson Clubs for Masterpiece all over the country. And then there's two organizations from uh, USA sponsoring all of this. Now listen to this, because this is coming, guys. If I send you WhatsApp, you have to read it. What's this all about? Workshops, international workshops that we're going to have here and in the USA, but will, it will be attended and people will be invited from all over the world. Next one is due for April in South Africa under the name of Streetless Foundation. So I'm very proud, grateful, thankful for that. Obviously, they sponsor, they creating a lot of the infrastructure for that. But, yeah, what a nice place to share that with you guys. Um, been invited with 20 social global innovation leaders for a walk in Nepal. Uh, that will the end of the year, where we connect, share, network, etc. Yeah, a lot of other things that I would like to share with you, but I, I just needed to go back to street, uh, to, to uh, the strategic partners. It, it, yeah, there's the uh, social media platform being built up all by volunteers. Guys, this was my intention to share a couple of words with you. Building this intention, because by words you build an intention, and the intention, if you do that enough and a lot, becomes culture. Um, what I did in all the schools is to end with this. Your son, your half my letter, sir. About half my father, man. Your star thing, my friend of half. Your open doors for the youth. Both branches for the youth to come through. I thank you.